good morning. I have one show and I've listened to all the venting and all the discrimination against me of things that I'm not guilty of. I made a voice note in a group that is all labor right in the group and somebody took out that vice note out of the JLP group and sent it to Nationwide. No, I have not spoken to no news media. I have not spoken to any news media. One number one, um, I think it was Gleena, somebody called me on a line, I didn't know it was a media house. And when I asked who is this, and they said the Gleena, I said, have a good day. I have a good day, I have nothing to say. So I have not spoken to any media house. I'm in a private JLP group that is called Information Media. It is our personal group. Everybody in there is supposed to be JLP. And we are discussing and I vent my feeling. I don't expect anyone to take it and send to Nationwide. I'm driving on Constant Spring Road and hear breaking news when I listen, I was a breaking news. However, what was said, I don't know why anyone is upset about it. I've not given anything to any PNP. But I have listened to Joy. I listened to Joy. Joy was in Belmont Road, um, which even Monday evening, and they were tearing me to pieces. And, and Joy never came to my defense. As a matter of fact, she said some things about me that I never expect Joy to say. You understand? And I don't hold it against Joy. I have given up nothing. The party leader, Mr. Andrew Olney, says he wants to meet me and have a discussion with me. And I told him, I told Dr. Chang who called me and told me that I will make myself available whenever the party leader chooses to call me and talk to me. I have not given anything to the PNP. I have not given anything to the PNP. The PNP can only go to KSAC and nominate a mayor. The PNP can come nominate a deputy mayor unless one of us walk away. So all this entourage against me in the night here is uncalled for and I thought Joy was more smarter than that. But now I know my friends. I know my friends now. I know I must be careful of the people I associate with. The people who come into my space. Yes, I now know. I now know. Joy, if anyone had told me that you had behaved this sort of way, I'd have said it's lie. But they sent it to me. Somebody get it from overseas and send it to me and ask me, isn't this joy your counterpart? And I had to say, yes. I have not done anything. I haven't given away anything. I hear you accusing me of becoming a get power. And I get eight, seven years and know whatever I did. Come on, joy. No, joy. You should not have gone down that road. You have soured the water between you and I. You have access to me. And regardless how you feel because of something you hear, you can call me and talk to me. You don't have to go down that road. What have I done to Northeast? I've always protected Northeast and I'm still doing that. What have I given the PNP? I want one of you come and explain to me what I've given the PNP. I hear some idiot in the group talking about can't fix. What is there to be fixed? There's nothing here to be fixed. The PNP got nothing. I gave them nothing. Come on, Joy. Come on, Joy. And a lot of honor, especially you, Joy. You know what has happened. And you know the disrespect that I've gone through, Joy. You knew it. You knew it. I hear me talk about it at Delmont Road Monday night. And I didn't mince my word with Des Delroy and the Deputy Jensek and Desmond. I didn't mince my word. I said what I have to say. And I stood my ground. And I'm still standing my ground. But I've given away nothing. But the way you have reacted, and the way all your followers have reacted, I may just do what you accuse me of doing. I may just do what you have accused me of doing. I'm tempted to go down the road and do what you and your colleagues have accused me of doing. I'm tempted to go down and do that. It's just that I have an agreement already with the Prime Minister to go and have a dialogue with him. 
And so by daylight in the morning, I have to make a decision whether I go and do what you people accuse me of doing or I go and talk to the Prime Minister. You know, I will have to make a decision between now and when daylight whether I go and talk to the leader as he promised he want me to come and see him or I do what you joy and those in this group have accused me of doing. It. You understand? And you're coming to say now that people that me don't get with people ostracize you. You can't tell me that because me never discuss you with nobody. You understand? Until you can tell me who and who was there with me. You understand? And I discuss you one one with me say, me no one hear that. You understand? You say your piece, me say my piece. Because it's what you do and what come out and nationwide. And I express myself. The only thing I did wrong was curse the ex expletive, but, but I did nothing wrong. Same like how oh, you don't do nothing wrong, and you don't do this and you don't do that, me don't do nothing wrong. So whosoever tell you, say me, I discuss you. Me never discuss you. And nobody, Jermaine was there, the mayor was there, Tasha was there, Susan was there, and Mr. McLeod was there, and we never discuss you. What's your analysis of it, Isaac? Do you have one? No, you know, um, seriously speaking, this is um, that whole, that whole, the whole sequence of events is <coughs> embarrassing. I'm going to use the word embarrassing because I thought we had, I thought we, we, and I'm saying we, Jamaica, had created a standard for leadership. I'm surprised that um, having heard the, the, the interaction which was, I, I'm going to say, is the lowest of the low. Um, I don't know how we can pretend that when listening to the sequence, the voice notes and, and, and the banter in between, um, I, it, that we can accept that as, le as, as, as the quality of leaders that we want. Kind of wondering then what was the purpose of the prime minister either firing or um, accepting resignation of Warmington. Because here we have a counselor who was her conduct or her her voice note is we've heard it. It's in the space, and that's not. I don't think that's the quality of leadership that we want. Where um, so do you believe she should she should be reprimanded? No, that's a matter for Bobsy. But um, Bobsy has set the standard where that is concerned. Um, I don't know. I certainly know that if that if if a PNP counselor was behaving like that, Mark would have taken a certain course in terms of the quality of leadership that has that 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 we now expect, especially in in circumstances where they're actually getting paid taxpayers' money at a level where um, there was public outcry for it. So these the prize per se when when these people actually win and are now taking office. It comes with a higher re reward and, and there's a greater expectation. I'm saying that is if you accept the standard that, that, that has been put out. Oh, and, and so in any event, um, it is embarrassing. You, you would have seen the, um, <coughs> the Clovis and the Observer and the cartoons where uh, Mark is standing up laughing because Belmont Road is falling apart. And, um, is that what we want? Is this is this the way? Is this the road to the Singapore model? Absolutely not. Because the people shouldn't, the people respectfully shouldn't just turn their eyes and say, well, this man spoke. He spoke about the very words that we speak about every day. Um, we take pride in talking about integrity and probity and honesty and values. And they will say, oh, I'm going to take it back. And then to say, and which is why I said about filling the gap. Mm. literally so i'm not talking about spaces in anybody's teeth now literally you can't you can't have a position like that put it out put it out and where is she being a justice of the peace huh where is she being a justice of the peace oh man I'm, i mean the ju the just the justice of the peace have ha they've had a bad week from last week all of these people with unquestionable integrity not character it's just the integrity aspect have embarrassed the office of jps and then it, it it flows it flows from um and these are from um kingston and st andrew they, where you know that's the costus um of kingston he has to deal with that whether he's going to deal with it or not i don't know but it's an embarrassing thing and 
we really need to a matter for the public if this is what we want if we are having selective morality if we if we if we because i'm telling you if this goes um unchecked then respectfully um what they did to to warmington was a personal attack and it shouldn't be oh, you see. say that again so you're saying if don't no action is taken against her you think it's a personal attack on warming of course of course but then but I'm, I'm, I'm not done. But warm, 